yeah. far. It is far. Not much you can do about that. Yeah, Raptor that. versus Ling Ling, Captain Austin versus Sinji, Racer X versus Stretch. A lot of the matches coming up. But enough about those. We yep. got Wii Fit versus Marth. No punt check here. Both opponents are ready to get right at it. Yeah, he immediately just runs in there, just air dodging that mm. soccer ball. Strong 18% mm. just to start things off. And that's the thing about uh, John is if you give him space, that just opens up so many um, uh, dangerous things that John can set up. He can heal, charges his sun sanitation, and set up the uh, the slow moving um, soccer ball and just trap you and create like little uh, openings for himself. Wow, rare forward smash yeah. from John. You never see that. He saw an opening though, it was a punish. Soon, trying to get back to the ledge. Mr. E doesn't really challenge numbers anymore off stage. Ever since like the first time they played against, you. remember that stuff when he, for the first time Mr. E and John Numbers played each other, like he went off stage so many times against him and got gipped so many times. I remember when he came down the steps, he specifically told me. I, I talked to him and I was like, I was like, yo man, you gotta. And he kind of cut me up and said, yeah, 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 I know. I went, he, I, I went off stage way too many times. I'm not gonna do that. So now he definitely respects Numbers off stage because that's where Numbers thrives. He loves being off stage, and that's the extent of what he's gonna do is try to go, go for, for a trump, a trump as opposed to like flying off and swinging. So you know how Mr. E lo lo loves to go off stage and try to get those edge guards. Mr. E, he could stand for edge guard. He's Mr. Edge guard. Like he yeah. loves going after you off stage. See, you give him that room, he's gonna set up that projectile. Yeah. Did you see wow. the, the, the accuracy on that soccer ball? He knew that Mystery was going to fast fall downwards and go for an up B recovery. The so knowledge on this character, I mean, uh, uh, on John for this character is amazing. It's it's astounding, really. See him clapping off stage, just <laughs> clapping for joy. He's in those nerves. Swinging those limbs. That up tail, the Swiss army tail. Not enough to get the kill. So many uses. See Mr. E going, just does a raw back air, but John Numbers is still alive, sitting at 124%. He has a charged salutation to the sun. Oh! He was he, not having any of that. And the reason why he did that is because he had that platform above him, so he could initiate the 50-50. Mm -hmm. So just in case he missed. Yep. But he saw that, you know, John Numbers went for two spot dodges in a row. He's like, you know what, if I'm not going to get these grabs, I'm just going to go for an upbeat. That'll get the kill. And it did. See, Mr. E going oh, for that grab. John that. Numbers just kind of grabs him himself. A little game of chicken with the grabs. Like that, he hits the soccer ball back oh. at him. He jumps back onto the ledge and gets hit by that sun, Brutal. dude. With only, oh, I was about to say with only 7% difference, but John quickly racking up some damage for himself. With that trump, I barely ever see John get trumped, honestly. He's always usually like on point with like reacting, because John Numbers' reacting, reaction skill is astounding. It really is. So Mr. E just hitting all these side Bs, two in a row, three. He's just throwing it out because the thing is, if you're trying to spot dodge against Marth, he's going to go for those side Bs more often because it defeats spot dodges. Yeah. See him just kind of jumping, waiting for some sort of action coming from numbers. Goes nice. and makes the first two swings of side B, then obstacles end it. Go for the grab. Has him back off stage. Numbers struggling to get back onto some sort of some sort of stage control for him. See, that side B, side B grab works because if you try to roll away, if you think he's going to grab, he could stagger the timing of the third hit and then clip your roll start up mm -hmm. and actually finish the combo. So it's it's kind of like a frame trap that uh, Mr. E initiates. So if you're a, a growing Marth player and you're not doing that, that, that frame trap, put it into your game. Put it into your game, dude. Got this jab's going on against Wii Fit. Speaking of which, both of these players are trying to put the win Olay. into the game. Not quite. Not enough rage, not enough percent on numbers, but now numbers has rage. Numbers is mad, dude. I think if numbers loses game one, he's gonna go to Corin. Yeah, I'm I, I, would, I wouldn't doubt it. Trying to get, I like that Mr. E dashed forward to try to like feint a trump oh. and ran backwards. Once again, killing him with the up B off the right side of the stage. Nice Seems to stuff. be his go-to combo. Not combo, but... Yeah, just, just response. Response. Such a... Apt. Apt. Word. It's, it's just such, such an optimal use of the vocabulary. Dare, dare I say optimal? Apt. <laughs> Yo, I'm done, dude. So we see numbers going to his favorite counter pick, Omega Gower Plains, turning on his favorite song of all time. He loves fighting to this song. You see how thrilled he was to start the match? He was like, yeah, all right, let's go. Let's, let's go. go. And he doesn't do the change that you thought he was going to go. He's yeah. going to stick with Wii Fit. Hopefully this works out for him. He's just running back and forth, avoiding all the attacks that Mr. E was throwing Ooh. out for him. Oh, the that, sickest combo. The man just hit him once, and that landed so much damage. He's already sitting at 75%. Dude, that was two back-to-back -back air dodge baits that he called right. That was very smart stuff from John. Already 92 to 0, this test is being passed. Flying colors. A plus. So right now, stock is not completed yet. So uh, Mr. E has a chance to come back. 
Uh -oh. yeah, numbers going mad deep for that up B. Gets the tag. I was kind of a little bit afraid of that, but I should have known. Numbers oh. never misses that tag. Trying to spike that two frame. You see Mr. E, you know, has the stage control here. Numbers gets back on himself. Let's go for a grab. No, nah, the, the side pass through. That's mm. such a smart technique from Mr. E there. Yeah, he has so many different options he can do out there. He can continue the combo, he can do the pass through, he can end it uh, prematurely and go for a grab. Like, he has so many options. And it's just good awareness of his Marth skill to just be able to know how to do all yep. that. I right, see. He's, he's done a great job of uh, of dying. He's done a, he's done a great job of he dying. He did. I mean, like, if, if there was a score for death, like, he got that's S+. Plus. That's it. Triple S, S rank. Triple S rank for how to die 101. I mean, I was going to say that he brought the lead back, but yeah. I literally got interrupted right on the spot. John Numbers already showing that. I guess this music is, is putting some kind of uh, it gives him inspiration. The it gives him the calm energy. It also, like, it's the song is, like, inspiring almost. This is a really bad spot for Mystery, but he thankfully saved his double jump when he went off stage for that counter. I know counter can be a good option against hula hoops. Yeah, because, you know, she doesn't move vertically fast enough to avoid the counter. Unlike Marth, who can breeze by the counter sometimes. Yeah. See him jump in for that air dodge, expecting the salute of the sun, but Numbers waits for it, then throws it. Oh, that all right. Forward that error. Actually, no, it wasn't even tipper. He got killed. He just did three rolls in a row. Dude. Three rolls in a row. I might should put that away. <laughs> yeah, like, kind of, yeah, hold on to it. All right, Mr. E dancing around in the neutral here, trying to find a way. Oh, tagging up. All right, first damage of that last stock. Trying to get that spike with that down air. See Mr. E here, just like jumping back and forth. Trying to get something going against Numbers. Numbers finally gets Ooh. back on stage, even though he got hit back onto it. Clipped it. Got the clip. Nice. Oh, he lands back onto four. Numbers takes the advantage. Nice grab, yeah, back throw. Grab. He wants some off stage instead of in the sky. Yeah, that's definitely what he wants. See, Mystery struggling to get back on on stage. John Numbers, the thing about John Numbers is when he gets a lead, it's so scary. Yeah. He's gonna play so defensive. He's gonna play so like spammy and he backwards. Just, he just crushes your your overextensions. Yeah, he's like, you're gonna try to get some momentum back. I'm not giving that to you, dog. Tries to go for the roll and gets the grab afterwards, but you know, Mystery just kind of escapes that situation. He's just gonna duck that soccer ball. Uh, we Fit definitely has a great duck in this game. He just, she oh, just yeah. goes up for the push-ups. Really good. Air dodging that spike. You know, Mystery was so hungry for it. That counter. That was so good of numbers to throw it the other way. If that would have hit. Yeah, he could have tipped the counter and just. <sighs> that would have been disgusting damage against numbers. Oh, and Mystery nah. once again going for that trump, but he's just going to oh. land with the back here. Mystery struggling to get back to the stage, but numbers is going to go pretty deep for it. Once again, he's no struggling. No jump. He lost his jump somewhere in between those hits, and John Numbers takes game two. All right, good stuff from John. <laughs> Man, so like, Mr. Like the first game was kind of close, but that game, John Numbers was just kind of dictating the entire pace of that game. That definitely having no platforms helped him out. Oh, what it, you, nah, what, it was the music. It was the music. It was, the, it was all 100% the music. I'm you're so you. right. And once again, you know, we're going to see him go to Battlefield. Marth loves this stage. John looks so stressed right now. He knows against players like E, he knows that there's, there's no amount of uh, room for play. Like, mm -hmm. you can't play around with Mr. E. You have to take him on 100% seriously. You have to take him seriously. No fun allowed. Nope. You got that robot putting that sign down, dude. All right. Set taking up. the, taking the initiative with the lead there. I know some pretty early damage already. Surprisingly, let it go right there. Yeah, I know. Just kept charging in his face, cutting on some extra damage. See him pushing the soccer ball here, but Mystery is just kind of going in, guns blazing, throwing out these sword swings, trying to get something going against Numbers, but Numbers is not really doing too much against him. Back on stage. Oh. All right, poking that shield in a safe manner. Good stuff. Finding more damage, but this time that drop shield forward tilt is going to do it. I feel like Mr. E's being a little bit too aggro, if that makes sense. Like, he's just kind of going in guns blazing without trying to, like, space it correctly and not playing a little bit defensive. What are your thoughts on that? I feel like what he's doing is fine. He yeah. just, uh, he doesn't need to switch the strategy. He just needs to tighten it up. Yeah. No, you know what? You're right. He just needs to tighten up everything that he's doing instead of just trying to... Because there's a bunch of moments where he's been swiping him at, at safely. Yeah. But those stand out less than when he swipes and messes it up. Yeah, because it, sta it stands out like, whoa, you missed up. You're, you're supposed to be pre precise. What's going on here? Yeah. Oh, that two frame almost got it. That would have been, that would have been like Pure a, death. A, that would have been a deal breaker. Right there. See, number sitting at 92%, but he's got a salute to the sun. 
tries to go. I think Mr. E was going for like possibly a down air, but then just kind of gave up on it pretty early on because he didn't want to get gimped. Yeah. All right, he's going to set up this ball here. Projectile. Just tossing away everything. Barely avoiding that salute to the sun. Ooh, wow. Just approaches with a short hop forward air. Good spacing there. He has numbers off stage. Let's see if he can get something going. with Just a dash attack from numbers is going to push him away. Oh, that's up not. Air. He's going to hold on to that. Time we got the large blast zones of Battlefield helping Mr. E out, but still, once again, helping out yet again. He all, what doesn't kill him makes him stronger. He's sitting at 137% rage. He needs to avoid the forward tilt and the back air. And the up air. Those and are pretty much the, 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 the best kill moves as far as Wii Fit Trainer's uh, 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 physical self is concerned. Yeah. Mystery going deep, surprisingly, against numbers. <gasps> Gets wow. hit by the soccer ball. He's in a very bad position. I, Oh, wow, he makes it back. He knew the exact timing. Yeah. Like, that was probably, like, the lowest he could have possibly went in order to get back onto the stage. Because he went for that counter, like, expecting down numbers to go with, like, a down air or something. Wow. This tense situation here. No one wants to do anything <laughs> stupid. This is such a like a Wild West moment where they're just meeting each other at sundown. You know, hands at the ready. Who's going to draw first? They both were back to back there, holding their shields, counting to five. Yeah. And ready for salute the to the sun, finally closing out the stock. Let's see if no numbers can run away with this or if Mystery is <gasps> not going to give him any quarter. He has him off stage. Let's see if he can go off stage. He's going to chill back on the ledge, trying to counter the soccer ball. Doesn't get the trump that he's looking for. No, not the He's going to punish that, though. He's and so now, hungry. Now it's John's turn to take it over. <gasps> but it doesn't matter. Boom. He goes for it again. He's like, if it doesn't work the first time, try, try again. That's right. You can't forget your tools just because they. Yeah, if, you, if, it, if something messes up once, it, it doesn't mean you have to wait gonna, a whole nother year to do it. Exactly. It doesn't mean it's going to mess up forever. Throw your opponent off guard. Throw it off. Throw it out again. That's what Mr. E did, and then we ended up working out for him. All right, uh, threatening to reclaim this lead. He just needs 12 more, 11 more percent. This man is just throwing out these aerials. Up air, forward air, back air. What else can he do? There we go. Now he has them. Numbers. What's his answer? Mr. E. Just going to stay patient on stage as he's uh, told himself he was going to do. So again, he's landing down on the ground, throwing out these aerials. He's going to try to spot nope. dodge. Doesn't let the third ja uh, jab hit, or forward till hit him. Goes for the... Backs up instead. Ooh, that was a wait patiently. Yeah, very smart. Waited for uh, numbers to throw an attack before he approached with a grab of his own. He's throwing out a forward air, pushing numbers to the left, and barely avoiding Oof. that salute to the sun, jumping over it. This match is coming to a head right now. Both players at a reasonably uh, uh, uncomfortable percent as far as they're both concerned. No one wants to uh, make any bad decisions right now. See, Mr. Wow. just throwing out these Coin neutral the airs. Uh oh, John Numbers answering back. Forward air, see sending numbers. John off stage. As we reach the climax of the set, we see numbers approaching yet again, getting back on stage, throwing out to the sun. Mystery just falling into it, trying to bait out a second one by double jumping over, but numbers doesn't throw it out just quite yet. He wants to power it up first. Li they're literally hitting each other off stage in succession. Like John's flying away, then Mr. E's flying away. It's a role playing battle, dude. Like they're, they're, they're taking turns, attacking each other. <laughs> now it's Mr. E's turn, now it's numbers' turn. Yep, all of this rage that he's building just makes, you know, Mr. E's kill moves a lot more dangerous. Yeah, and he's sitting at 136. One good salute to the sun will close out his stock, but one tippered uh, anything, pretty much. Yeah. Numbers oh, going off stage! Oh, hitting with the soccer ball it. with the forward air. The first time he finally goes off stage, throws out a forward air, Woo! ends it. The, that's the first time he went off like that, just falling low. He John? <laughs> The only time Mr. E went for any edge guards that entire time, he was up top. He was trying to go up top, trying to like edge guard him, but the second any time numbers was recovering low, he stayed patient and he waited on the stage. He saved that kind of thing for the last moment. When he needed